We'll guide you through how to install custom maps in Minecraft. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This is super cool to be able to do because then you can go and have maybe a game map or another type. Let's get started. First of all, quit off Minecraft like I did there. And then what you need to do is go and open up a web browser. I'll just use Chrome, but it doesn't matter. What you want to do is go and search for CurseForge. It's a great website for downloading different things around Minecraft from hover over browse at the top and then select Minecraft. And what you then need to do is go and scroll down here until you go and see worlds. You can go over to the right and click on view all and you can then browse through here. In this case, I want to go and get Skyblock. So let me go and click on it like so. You can read through the description, but in this case, I'll just go and click on files. I want to install it. Then once you've got it and scroll down, you're going to go and see it here and you're gonna go and notice they've got different game versions. I like to go and get the most recent version, which is 1.20.6. So come over to the right, click on the three dots and click on download file. It should automatically go and download. Now, just before we install it, a big thank you to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. Apex Hosting are my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome features. For example, DDoS protection, one-click install mod packs, 24 seven servers and support so you can get the help anytime you need it with your server. And at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice. If you're interested, I'll go and put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. A big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. So now that we've gone and downloaded it, we can come out of our web browser. You need to go and open up your file explorer, click on downloads over to the left and you should then go and have the zip file. And all you need to do is go and drag it onto your desktop like so. Now what you need to do is go and double click on it like this, and you'll then have another folder inside of it. And what we need to do is go and drag this out of it. So you've essentially gone and extracted it from the zip file. You may need to wait a moment. And when you go and open up that file you just extracted or the folder, I should say, it should go straight into the files. It shouldn't go into a subfolder. It needs to go straight into it like mine does there. Then come to the bottom of your computer and go and search for the Minecraft launcher. Make sure Minecraft Java is selected and click on installations at the top. Now what we need to do is do a new installation for what the world version was for. In this case, mum was 1.20.6. You can check this out in CurseForge in the files. You can go and see 1.20.6 there. So let me go and choose that version here. Scroll down the installations until you find it. Hover over it and click on the folder or file icon to the right and then it will go and open up. And go and locate saves just here. And then all you need to do is go and drag it in. So I'm gonna go and drag that folder in like so. Now what we need to do is go and launch Minecraft. You can click on play at the top, go for left to play and make sure you go and select the version you created, the installation you created and I'll then click play. Minecraft's now loaded, so let's click on single player and you need to scroll through your worlds until you come across it. If you know what it's called, then you can use the search function at the top. You can then select it and click on play selected world. I can go and choose the island by clicking on it and it's then loading. And just like so, here we are. 